It is just the sides. Now, the surface area of a cylinder is, of course, 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. But do I care about the pi r squared? No, because those are the circles. They're not important, are they? Because there's no paper up here. So these are gone. So I only care about 2 pi r h, don't I? So 2 pi, what's r? 4.25, and what's H? 12. So I do that on my calculator, and I get uh, 102 pi, correct? That's how many cans? One hundred and two pi is how many cans? How many cylinders did I do the work for? One. How many cylinders do I need? A hundred thousand. So what do I got to do with this number? Add a bunch of zeros. Yeah, I got to multiply it by a hundred thousand, which means what am I adding? How many zeros? Five. Five. So I get one o two and five zeros pi, which is ten million. 200,000 pi centimeters cubed, right? No, not cubed, dummy. It's not cubed, is it? Why is it not cubed? Because it's not volume, it's squared. And then, of course, you could do this times three, couldn't you? Which would be something like 31 million cubic centimeters of centimeters squared of paper. Everyone cool? Now, the next question was, estimate how much of the classroom walls could we cover? Well, if we were going to do that, we would have to take a guess at how big the classroom walls are, wouldn't we? We talked about that yesterday, yes? What did we say it was? 10 meters by... So, yeah, 30 feet, 10 meters. So, the floor we said was a square that was 10 by 10. How tall did we say that side was? Up to the tri up to the beginning of the slope. What would you guys say that would be? Twenty feet. Yeah. Uh, so, 22 feet. so you you, you want to call it twenty feet? So six meters. Uh, yeah. All right. That's way and that goes all the way around, right? So we have four walls, four walls that are ten meters across the floor, up six meters. Yes. Is everyone okay with that? That covers up to where the triangle starts. Everybody cool? Okay. So that's 4 times 60, which is 240 meters squared. Are we okay? And then we got to add that triangle, yes? So we know that triangle is 10 across because we said it's 10, yeah? 10. How tall do you think it is from where the slant starts up there by the uh, sprinkler to the top up there. Uh, it's two, an estimate. Two meters. You want to go two meters? Yeah. Is that okay? Because we can't climb up and measure it, right? What's the point of me doing this question? The point is to say that you don't say, well, the room is 10 kilometers long. You understand what I'm saying? Well. Right? You got to have reasonable estimates. Everyone okay with that? So I've got this which Bryce has said is probably about two meters. Everyone okay with that? And there's one there and one there. Is everyone cool? So I get this shape, don't I? Because I get two of those triangles, yeah? So what shape do two triangles make? A rectangle. So I have this rectangle that is 20 meters squared. Is everyone cool with that? And then I go over there and I got another rectangle that's 10 by two for that wall, right? Because that wall goes all the way up to the top. So I got another rectangle that's 10 by 2, which is another 20. Then I add it all up to get 280 meters squared. Is everyone happy with that? Is it right? No. We don't know because we haven't measured, right? Agreed? Do we have the technology to measure it? But first of all, is it ever going to be exact because there's all this crap, right? Yeah. But we're just doing a basic one. Everyone cool? So let's 
measure with our good friend, Mr. Trundle Wheel. Creative name. Count the clicks. Not that one, that's zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, it's only it's about seven meters, not ten. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, does it? Because what is this question asking? Estimate, right? Everyone okay with that? Now, could you argue that if I added, because that only came from the door, didn't I? This is another meter and a half, which is eight and a half meters. It's pretty darn close to 10 when we're guessing, right? Everyone okay with that? So we've done our work. We've got 280 meters squared, yeah? What measurement do we have? Do we have a measurement in meters squared? Is our measurement in meters squared? No, it was in centimeters squared, wasn't it? So I got to convert that, yes? Right? Now we've talked about this, haven't we? If that's one meter by one meter, then that's one meter squared, yes? Right? Okay, what is this one meter in centimeters? It's a hundred. Right? What's this? 100. What's 100 times 100? 10,000. 10, right? So 1 meter squared equals 10,000 centimeters squared. Agreed? I have meters squared, don't I? What do I need? I need centimeters squared. So my centimeters have to go on the top. So I do 280 times 10,000, don't I? So how many zeros are getting added on to 280? Uh, four. It's four. Four. Oh, 10,000. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that one time. <laughs> four zeros, yes? Yeah. So 280 and four zeros. Agreed? Which is... Two point or two million eight hundred thousand, yeah? Square centimeters. Everybody okay? Haven't done anything weird, have we? Now all I gotta do is I know I've got this many square centimeters, right? Is that more? It's gonna be thirty million. I only need 2.8 million. So how many times can I cover the walls? Is this pretty close to 3 million? No. Is that pretty close to 3 million? And the other one was 30 million, right? So how many times can I cover the walls? I guess 10 or 11. 10 times. Everybody got it? Is it a real life question? Of course not. It's a math class question, isn't it? Right? What if I wanted to buy 500 water bottles? Why? <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. This bike, I've always had a, 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 a dream of wanting to get one of these bikes and then go to like a mountain bike park and do tricks with it and stuff and put it on video. Like wear like a top hat and a jacket and a, like a suit like the old guys would have worn on these bikes in the old days and then go and do a bunch of tricks on it. I don't think I could, but it would be cool to try. Maybe Make it all out of carbon fiber so it's super light. and It would be wicked. I'll get more videos than I get from, or more views than you people watching math, that's for sure. All right, so... How far will this bike go in one turn of the wheel? What am I measuring? Guys, didn't we just measure something with a wheel? Oh, okay, now I see what we were measuring. All right, uh, just... So if this wheel's going to turn, how far is it going to turn? No. 
52 inches is the diameter. Oh. How far is it going to turn? The circumference. circumference. And circumference is written where? I don't know, Mr. Myers. You haven't told me that. It's in the data, it's in the data booklet. Circumference equals pi d. So, what's the d? 52 pi. And then if you actually do the math, it's 52 times your pi button. It's going to be around 160, right? It's 52 times 3. A, there you go, 163.36. So that took Shaylee five seconds. How many people didn't do their homework? You can all put your hands up. I know a bunch of you didn't do it. So it takes five seconds to answer a question. I'm asking you 10 questions. That's 50 seconds. Well, well, I don't know if I had 50 seconds of free time in the last 24 hours, Mr. Myers. I'm a pretty busy guy. You know how it is, playing Call of Duty 12 all night. So 163.36 in inches. I want your answer in feet and inches. So divide by 12. 163 divided by 12. Right? Which is? So I get 13 feet, right? Now, I've got a 0 0.36, 0 0.36, and a 0 0.61 now, don't I? So what do I do with those two numbers? Well, you've got to add them up first. Add them up to get 0.97. And then multiply that by 12 to get the inches, right? Dude, I found out about that other day for like getting like decimals and pages and stuff. Free Pete is in the staff room. <laughs> Mr. Van B, take over my math class. Right, you go, you go. Yeah. What are we doing here? You're converting uh, 13 Dude, feet. I could, I could teach this. 13 feet, about 11 inches to meters and centimeters. Dude, I don't need, I, I could teach this. Okay, yeah, Bryce, to do it. Bryce yes. show us. Woo. I, don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Hi, cool. Mr. Van B. Alright, am I blocking your view? Right. Jesus, it's short. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, uh, welcome to math. Bryce. I hope this all stays in, by the way. So, uh, I guess we're learning... Where are we? I wasn't actually paying attention. Alright, cool. So, uh, we're gonna... <laughs> so we've got to find out how many times the, uh, Cyclist has to turn a large wheel, uh, get into a kilometer. So uh, since we're in feet, that's not very helpful. So we gotta gotta convert that into something more uh, practical for this. So if someone wants to do that for me, because I'm not doing that. You said you knew how to do this. I said I knew how to do it. Not in my head. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that in a measurement, and I'll work with that. Uh, what was that? I wasn't. That's 13 feet, 11 inches, and I meant the first number. The, what, what, what was the number you just gave me? 396.24. Yeah. Yeah. Point 0.24. Centimeters. Alright. Alright, cool. So. Uh, no. That's just the distance. Alright, so. Now we got this number. Now, <laughs> this should be very obvious. How many centimeters in a kilometer? And so. You're a little off. <laughs> I don't know, it's a number. Aren't you going to finish the question two? Oh, do we have to do that? Is that not even done? No, I'm just supposed to. Oh, it's in meters and centimeters. Whoa. So that's in feet. 13 feet, feet 11 inches is 396. No, that is 13 feet is 396. The 11 inches is 27.9. Fine, I'll finish number two. I don't care. All right, so how I don't have my conversion sheet up here. How many, uh, what's the conversion for uh, numbers? I just did the conversion. Wait, wait, wait. Dude, I'm not actually up here to teach you. I'm just up here because I wanted to you feel special. And you're like, I know this. Dude, I, I don't know where we are right now. Shaley, why don't you take the chair? No, I'm. Aaron's obviously failing miserably. I meant strike Bryce. That's my dad's name. <laughs> you. We're doing this question. Okay, so this, 
I'm not so, saying. 13 feet 11 inches is 424.18 centimeters. So now we got to convert that. 421? Meters and centimeters. That's what I'm saying. You're so that's going to be 400, that's going to be 4 meters, 24 centimeters, 24.18 centimeters. So that's 0.2. So 4 meters, 24.2 centimeters. Did I ever get it right? So if it scores 13.97, I want meters, yes? So what goes on top? Feet to meters. Feet to meters. 0. 0.3048, yes? Point. 3048 to get the answer and whatever that is. Well done, Bryce. Thank, you. Thank goodness you were here. What would you do without me? Well, <laughs> succeed. I was going to say probably teach people properly. But... Which is uh, 4.26 meters, but I need, oh, meters and centimeters. Four meters, 26 centimeters. And the next question, so 421 wasn't bad. Next question was how far to go a kilometer? Well, if I go 4.26 meters per turn and I want to go 1,000 meters, right? What do I got to do? I want to go 1,000 meters, and each turn is 4.26. So I do 1,000 divided by 4.26. 235 turns. OK? How far will the smaller wheel go in 1,000 in one kilometer? You have to do it all again with the small wheel, OK? Since very few people seem to do their homework, I'm not going to bother carrying on. If you did it here, you do the exact same stuff with the small wheel. And if you get the answer, you're probably right. Okay? As long as you do the same steps. Okay. Uh, that's it. I'm not going to do the last thing I wanted to do with this unit. I'm going to give you straight on to your review. Now listen to me and listen to me closely. Pretty, please hand out the review. While Pretty hands this out, please listen to me. You do not need to look at it. You need to do nothing but listen to me. Because if I have to answer one of these questions, I'm going to make fun of you. Okay? So listen. In the first section that has conversions, there are units there that you do not know what they are. And there are units there that are not on your data sheet. Let me give you an example. Let's say I tell you there's a unit of measurement in math called the quaffle. Okay? It's a measurement. It's a metric measurement. One quaffle, which we abbreviate as one Q. Everybody with me? Okay. How many quaffles are there in one KQ? A thousand. Even though quaffles aren't a real thing. So even if you don't know what this is, because you understand the metric system, you know the K means 1,000. Kilo, absolutely right. Everybody with me? What is a CQ? A centiquaffle. 
which means 100 CQs equal 1Q. Is everybody with me on that? In metric, it doesn't matter. If you don't know what the unit is, the K, the C, the D, they're all the same. Everyone understand? All right. Uh, the next thing that is important, you do not need to do question. Turn the page over for me, Ray. Oh, never mind. I have it right in front of me. No, never mind. Uh, review. You do not need to do This is a different review than you guys have, I think. Uh, nope. Do you have 13, 14, 15? Uh, oh, nope. Or does yours end? Yeah, I yeah. Ten. Yours ends at 9 is the lip pounds and ounces. Yeah. And then it starts in with vernier calipers, yes? Okay, so you got to mark all those. I showed you guys how to read those. They're in your notes. Didn't I? Yep. Yeah. Then you're going to measure the shadow here. The photocopying isn't great. Just measure up to approximately the edge of the shadow. Do not do any of the imperial vernier calipers. I think there's only two of them on your sheet. Mm -hmm. Don't do them. Okay. Uh, page over. Number 31 is a 10 gummy bear prize, like it says on your sheet. Do not spend a day trying to figure that out to get 10 gummy bears. You're having a test on this on Thursday. Make sure you can do everything else. Come back to that later. <laughs> And on the back side, uh, there's nothing weird. Um, yeah, so you can work together. You can use your data booklets. Preeti is here. She can work comfortably with two or three people. So if you claim Preeti, get up there and work with her. Daniela is here. If you want to work with her, and I am here. Okay? Everybody understand? Remember. Even if it looks like you don't have the right answers on your data booklet, you do. You just have to think a little bit. All right? Everybody ready? Go. I didn't get you a PETA because you did a crappy job converting feet well, to centimeters. Well, you know that when you got here. Yeah, I kind of did know that that was how that was going to go. Well, you made that decision. I need to calculate. There's a million of them in front of me. Grab one. Well, get that one then. Oh, I just wanted to make you a little bit annoyed by my stupid question. You cannot annoy me, Bryce. Is that a challenge? No, you can't. Becoming a teacher gives you invulnerability. That's true. You kind of like signed up for that. Franks on everything. Franks taste.